Welcome to Easy English by Eddie Singh. And today we are going to explore on one of the debating topics, the need of communal harmony in the present scenario. Well, I would like to explain to you what is communal harmony. See, the country India is a democratic country where we have different uh, faiths and religious uh, religious people. We uh, we find different faiths and religions in this country. People of different faiths and religion live together. They speak different languages. They I mean dress themselves in different manner. They have different food habits. They have different I mean cultural backgrounds. Yet they are Indians. The question of communal harmony arises at the present scenario because at many places we find you know quarrels and dispute in the name of religion caste creed often we hear on in the news people resorting to violence uh, in the name of caste religions faiths at the time of election also there are cases of you know violence people fight against each other just in the name of caste religion that is not a good sign for a democracy like india india the largest democracy where there is uh, you know 135 you know crores of population uh, 1.35 billion people live together and it's a great i mean democracy in the world but being a great democracy doesn't mean that we should i mean show our weaknesses you see the first and foremost thing that we should always consider that we are first an indian then uh, uh, i mean a nationalist and then anything else we are not hindu muslim or sikh rather we are an indian whatever faiths whatever religion do we have it doesn't matter that what faith do we follow it matters that we should be always united and we should always have the national solidarity in mind the fact that there are various incidents and uh, that take place in the name of caste creed and religion people have narrow thoughts and i mean they divide the society in the name of religion this will uh, certainly weaken the thread of national solidarity the time has come that we should always try to inculcate you know the feeling of brotherhood we should always feel proud of being an indian because this is the land where all the great i mean preachers of religions were born and they have made india a great land in the eyes of all the people of the world so we have to create awareness among the people not to fight in the name of religion rather to be you know uh, in the bond of love and affection as a human being loving one another is more important and we should always understand the feeling and emotion we should develop a religious tolerance we should also keep in mind um, uh, caring and you know sharing one another we should think that our neighbors, our brothers, whatever caste they may be, they are our, I mean, friends, they are our, uh, you know, they are our well-wishers. We should never divide the society in the name of religion. And to do this, the need of communal harmony arises. And therefore, we should always keep in mind that if India has to be united and stronger, we all have to be like brothers and sisters. We all have to be like indians forgetting all the differences all the religious i mean you know differences that this is what we call unity in diversity so we have to keep in mind that our country which is a great democracy in the world has to be great only because of the greatness of the people and the great democratic and secular faith respecting one another's religion giving a space to everybody's emotions and feelings and giving respect to every citizen irrespective of the caste creed and religion we belong to and then only india will be a great land and a great democracy and uh, boasting of all the development in the world thank you very much